Okay, y'all. Also, the fake writer police got the fake writer cops got caught too. Let me tell you what happened. So the girl shows up. She looks like she could be like Issa Rae type family, but this is like she looks like the rest of the family that stalks me, tries to put me in this like with all this different stuff, right? Don't nobody in St. Louis, you as a cop, why would you have any records of me being anywhere? She tried to act like I need to go to the psych ward. So I'm just like, nah, go ahead and take me to the psych ward. So I'm telling the dude what's going on. He said, that don't even sound right. I said, you know what? Take my key. Y'all go ahead and go in the room, go search through whatever y'all want to search through, and then y'all can bring me back the key so I can go get the rest of my stuff. I just need some clothes, y'all. All my clothes over there, so I need some clothes. I really don't want to spend money on clothes, but I'm going to go to Rainbow and get me a little outfit. So I'm just like, okay, wait a minute. So you, so then she, I was like, I say, so what you here for, Quinta or Issa? I say, you here for Issa Ray or Quinta? I say, who you going to get a story to? She going to say, oh, yeah, that was a good show. I say, you see, she a stalk. Okay, so now I'm not getting to the part where she got caught. Jessica is a social worker or a fake social worker. She looks like she a frogger because she real thin too, right? And she always dirty. So it's like, not that she look dirty, her clothes dirty, the sweater she wore dirty. So she look like a person, like everything she said, she said off my phone. So when I yesterday, she was like, did you call missionary or charities? I said, yeah, I already did. So I was like, I'm going to send you more C's number. Look, that's not more C's number. That's somebody else. That's somebody that's talking to me. So she was like, I send more C's the messages, right? And so I asked her, I said, did you talk to Jessica? When Jessica called back, she said, you know what? The earliest I can get there is Monday. Jessica does not live here. I promise you that girl don't live here. So she said, yeah, the, the earliest I can get to you is on Monday, and we can go there together and get your stuff because they trying to get the room. The stalkers are trying to get the room. Y'all understand? Saying, and they want my snacks and stuff to be in there because that's what they want too. So they trying to get the room. So look, I'm like, are you serious? So she come back out and tell me what Jessica said. Not that they, that I not. So look, the stalkers want the room. So the whole time they on this thing talking about how they want my room with the snacks and all that stuff because they saw it on the video. Y'all understand? But you was more than just on the video because you saw when I put that sticker inside of my planner. So I'm supposed to move right in three weeks like Sister Davis is saying. So it's like so many stupid people. Y'all done came here from Texas, right? All I want y'all to know is, can y'all just tell the Texas police? Because it ain't no policemen out here. So guess what? If y'all really from Texas... You see what I'm saying? That's why y'all running crazy now. That's why you're trying to cover up what you're doing now. Because Texas don't play. And then I just heard on this thing too. Texas say they ain't bringing nobody back. You understand? You got to play with spirits and do all that voodoo stuff. They say they ain't bringing nobody back. I had to scream at that woman in that street. They going to bleed you. Y'all got that stuff wrong on American Horror Show. That's why they bleed them right there. You going to have somebody out here looking crazy, going crazy. They going to kill you. They going to